If you're happy ending now, clap your hands. If you're happy ending now, stamp your feet. I'm not seeing people stamping their feet, which means you're not happy. Teacher, we are happy, but I'm not seeing you stamping your feet. If you're happy ending now, clap your hands. If you're happy ending you now, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, nod your head. Nodi, nodi. How are you, little angels? I'm okay. I hope you also fine. Teacher, we have stopped being little. We are now in grade three. Very good. So you know you're big girls, okay? How are you, girls and boys? Are you okay? I am fine. It's a teacher annunciator. Welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. Wow. Still on ordinals. Who can remember what we said ordinals are? Teacher, ordinals rank things. Very good. What else do ordinals do? The ordinal, they position things. Wow, I like this class. Because at least nobody, nobody forgets what we learn on each single day. Day. So look on our table today. What's on our table today? Today we have varieties of foods on our table. I don't want to say fruits. I don't want to say vegetables, but it's just varieties of food. Okay. So these foods have been arranged in groups of five each. There is the first group, five foods. The second group, five foods. Very good. Now we want to position these fruit, fruits, vegetables and foods, so they are all called foods, in their position. We want to rank them. We want to see who is the first one, who is the second, like that, like that, up to the last one. Okay? So, who will help me to know which one is the one? Fruit number one. Fruit number one, teacher, the fruit number one is the first one, and that is, food number one is the first one, and that is a tomato. So we are saying tomato is the first. Then after tomato, we have the capsicum, which is the food number two. And how do we call it in the ordinal? It is the second food. Very good. Now we are on the third one, which is the potato. Potato is the food number three. And in the ordinal, it is the third. Then we have yummy, yummy. How do we call this? It's called milk. Food number four and it's in the fourth position then we have the carrot which is in the fifth position but now we have not finished there are still more we need to name them so we are on the number six seven eight and nine we have said this one is number two three four and five so we have named our foods up to number five. So we are remaining with six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who can remind me how to write the ordinals for the first one? We said first is F I R S T. First. Then we go. Second is S E C O N D. Second. Then on third, then we have fourth, then we have fifth, but now we don't know. Number six represents which ordinal? From the word six, you get the word sixth. From the word six, from the name six, you get the word sixth. Very good. Mm -hmm. From the word seven, you get the word seventh. From the word seven, you get the word seventh. From the word seven, you get the word seventh. Wow. Then from the word eight, eight, you get the word eighth. Eighth. Wow, very nice. Good. Then from the word nine. Look at the spelling of the nine is written like this. But when it comes to the ordinal, you drop the vowel E. 
and just add a th to form the word ninth, which is ninth. Are we together? Did you see me writing an e there? No, I dropped the e before I added the th. So the word is ninth. Ninth. And then from the word ten, you add a th and you get the word tenth. 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 Have you seen? Now, someone to tell me something that you've realized on these ordinal words. Something to tell me. Something you've realized on these ordinal words. Teacher, most of the words on this side, they end with TH. Very good, Oscar. I knew you will tell me this. So apart from first, second, and third, are you seeing this? All these others, they end with a TH. All these others, they end with a TH. Have you, have you realized that? Apart from first, second, third, all the other ordinals from number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to ten, they end with a TH. And do you think it will change anytime soon? Do you think it will change? Let's go. Let's find out from the next lesson if this TH will stop on 10th or it will continue up to the last number. Are we together? Let us just find out. Will this TH continue or stop on number 10? But during your free time when you go home, I want you to go and arrange utensils in the house. The jug, the plate, the spoons, the bowels, the hot pots, all those. And name each item according to the position it is in at that particular moment. When you're arranging them and like when you go home also here we have our days of the week i want you to tell me which is the first day of the week which one is the first day of the week sunday which one is the last day of the week and the last is in which position let's see first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh so the last is in the seventh position wednesday is in which position Wednesday is in which position we go? First, second, third, fourth. So your homework today is you go arrange utensils at home. Then tell me where exactly does this one fall? Where exactly does a ball fall? Which position is the spoon? Which position is the plate? The cup? Like that. Great three is up to there. Any question? Any problem? Anybody who feels like she or he has not understood any what you're saying? Are we okay? Are we on the same page? Okay, I like this train because it has not left anybody behind. It was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.